So this video really shocked me because I... I have definitely been a victim of judging someone by their cover. I do not do that anymore, but I think sometimes it comes back, unfortunately. But when I saw this um, interview, you know, this video of um, there's this guy, his name is The Witness. Well, his interview, his YouTube channel is called The Witness. His name's Jeremiah. And he goes out at nightlife and preaches the gospel. And I I was really surprised when I saw the what was happening, you know, in this interview. Let me play it for you guys. Oh, sir. And that's the message of the gospel, that you don't have to die in your sin. He took away that sin so you can receive him and live in it no longer. And one day you will be with him in eternity. When they receive the gospel, then I go and talk to them. Look, brother, Jesus can help you overcome this sin. If it's homosexuality, it's homosexuality. If it's pride, it's pride, etc. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Let him talk. Okay. So, so look, whether somebody is homosexual, hmm. let's say I'm a thief and they're homosexual, sin is still sin. That's what a lot of people don't understand. Sin is still sin. To God, there's no such thing as big sin or small sin. If we die without Christ, we don't have salvation. Okay. So for every. He wants, he wants to listen. Um, okay, so now, when somebody receives the message of the gospel, knowing that Jesus took your place as a sinner and defeated death, that was our penalty, death. Because the Bible says that the consequence of sin is death. So that's why, that's what, that's why the resurrection is so powerful. Because a perfect man, an innocent man, died as a criminal. Because he took our place, he took your consequence. He took your consequence. He took your penalty. He took my penalty. So the Bible says that he who knew no sin, which was Jesus, became sin. So we can become the righteousness of God. So through the blood of Jesus, through that innocent blood that was shed, he cleanses us. He purifies us because that blood isn't contaminated. The reason why we sin, because we come from Eve, Adam and Eve, they fell short of God's glory. And everybody who comes from them, also their blood has been contaminated. That's why you can't be crucified and die for the world. That's why the Father said it's only begotten Son to take your place. Defeated death and resurrected. Why? So whenever we die and death comes to snatch us and send us to hell, Jesus appears. And he says, I've already defeated you. And because they believe through me, they have everlasting life. That's the gospel. Now, when somebody receives that message of the gospel, I'm in need of a savior. My life is not good. You receive Jesus in your heart. And now the Lord, through the Holy Spirit, will begin to convict you. Like, Lord, you loved me before I even loved you. You thought about me before I even thought of, about you. You saved me even yet while I was still sinner. That's what the Bible says. While we were still sinners, Christ came and died. Why? Because Christ saw the future. You see, the, what is your name? You don't mind me asking? Gigi La Tormenta. Gigi. For La Tormenta. La Tormenta. Okay, I'll say that. I'll add that. For example, G Jesus was like, okay, I'm dying 2,000 years ago, but I'm seeing Gigi La Tormenta. A man will come and give her the message of the message of hope, message of the gospel, message of salvation. Okay, so whenever Jesus was in the cross, he was thinking about you. He was thinking about you. He was thinking about you. So now when you receive Jesus and you believe in his finished works, salvation belongs to you. But do you know what's what's the evidence behind the belief that you carry? Is allowing him to do his perfect will in you, and that is the power of God, the power of transformation. Where out of no way. You don't begin, you don't want to live the life like you used in the past. You want to live to please Him. You want to live to make Him happy. Why? Because He's your God. And you begin to have a relationship. And out of nowhere, you feel a peace that you've never felt before. The Bible says, peace I leave with you, peace I give to you. I don't give like the world gives. Look, whatever this world can offer you, Jesus can offer you much more. How many times have people drink, 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 and they drink for 20 years. They're still not satisfied. They're still dealing with a lot of things. Smoke. They went through all these things. Nothing has changed. Why? Because the world, it doesn't have enough to fulfill the void inside of hum humanity. Today, a woman looked at me. She, she was like, why are you always so happy? And I'm telling her, because of Jesus. And I said, you can receive that Jesus too. Jesus is for anyone that believes. What? Can you recommend it to me? Yeah, for sure. I mean, do you feel, do you feel like it's right, man sleeping with man? I think man should not lie with boy. What about men lie with men? I think adults shall do what they do and suffer the consequence of whatever the consequence is. So anything that comes with con bad consequence, you know is bad? Good and bad is subjective. 
it's relative based on the culture at the time. Um, at the end of the day, there is no good and bad. It's it's again on the culture. Can However, I ask you really quick, really quick. If I murdered somebody, you know it's bad, right? Again, that is a sin against life because you are taking life. That wasn't your life to take, and you took it, and you'll suffer whatever consequence comes with it. And that's bad, that. right? Really quick. That's I think bad. That people, that people shouldn't Again, be bad. bad is not good or bad. I, I genuinely do not believe good or bad exists. I, I mean, I believe there is more aligned with life and truth, and less aligned with life. I mean, and truth. I, I mean, I'll, look, I, I feel like it's something that you're 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 fighting. You know, it's something you're trying to run away from because if I went to go slap my good mother, that would be bad. I believe in truth. I believe in life and appreciating life as it is. Um, I personally do not believe that right and wrong is written in stone. I believe it's subjective based on the culture. So you don't believe in, you don't believe, you're not Christian? I am an omnist. I find truth in all religions, all things. I believe that they are different interpretations of what they believe truth is. There is an element of fear that has been infused in it um, with almost like a threatening of hell. If you don't follow our way, the Christian way, yeah. if you're a Hindu, or if you're, you know, if you believe in Taoism, you're going to hell. But in that way, they invalidate the other perspectives of truth. There's only one truth. Exactly. But at the end of the day, no one book can tell you what truth is. That's something that you have to find yourself. You want to know you want to know why why I do believe that my my truth is truth? Tell me. It's because Jesus did what no man in the world could ever do. You know, he defeated death. He resurrected from the tomb. Who did that? Who raised the dead like he raised the dead? Who cleansed the lepers like he cleansed the lepers? And this was evidence from many eyewitnesses. You know, there's nobody in there's nobody ever that ever died and resurrected their own self you know and then and then appeared to his own disciples after his tomb and burial you know muhammad didn't do that buddha didn't do that anywhere you search in the grave their bones is still there somewhere but if you try to look for jesus he showed us he just didn't speak a word he just didn't bring a good message he just didn't bring a positive message no he backed it up with impossible things you know and, and if you have anybody in mind who did anything like Jesus did to prove to prove himself, as he said, that, to prove himself to be the person he said he was, he said, I am Alpha and Omega. He said, before Abraham, I am. He said, that, he said that Jesus was the visible image of the invisible God. Jesus said, if you see me, you've already seen the Father. Yes. You know, yeah, so, so all these things, Jesus spoke it, but yeah. he backed it up by what? The supernatural Action. by yeah. the, impossible, the impossible you know and, and and these things were seen by seen by hundreds of eyewitnesses and that's why what I believe in there's so it's so reliable yeah. it's so it's something that you're able to what facts it's reliable Jesus tomb is was actually empty it's proven Jesus was actually crucified all these horrific, horrific uh, historical events took place the blind saw the ears open and the crazy part is that in the in the old testament all this was prophesied and it what ended up coming to pass god backed up everything that he said there is still i don't get so um he cut off a lot of parts of it you could tell some of it was cut off and i noticed that um I really like um, her response to it. I know that she's transgender, but I'm just going to say she just out of respect because I just don't need that right now. Um, and obviously, I'm not like for the whole tran transgender like movement. I, I don't think that you can ever switch your um, gender. But I really loved how Gigi La Tormenta was very res like humble and she allowed Jeremiah to talk, which is a preacher in the video. And she was open to learning, which is something that most people, I feel like, in that community wouldn't be. So that was something very beautiful. And I do believe that there's a lot of people, you know, when Jeremiah goes out to preach, that are open. And I do believe that that's a result of prayer, you know, prayer for softened hearts. I think before you do evangelism, you should always pray for hearts to be softened and to be open because that really does touch the people. You know, people are open and they want to hear. And there's a reason why she decided to be there 
together with this guy um, instead of going out partying and doing you no know, sin because she was curious and she knew that there was something in her that probably is hurting and, and is in need of a Jesus is in, is in need of God and obviously she has her own world views and her own like she's an omnis which is basically someone that believes in all religion but I, I believe that there could only be one truth, that there can't be multiple truths. There has to be one because if there's multiple truths and the world becomes chaos and everything's a mess because then that means that if you think that it's okay to kill someone and that's your truth, so why should we why should we not follow that person's truth? There's only one truth. There's only one good or bad, regardless of what other people say. Um, there are some things that, yeah, they could be opinions, but that does not mean that they are the truth. You know, there's a difference between opinion and a logic and um yeah so i actually searched up gigi la tormenta i thought it was funny um like she did make me laugh because she was like no you're gonna call me by my name like sassy and i love that confidence you know there's times where i see people who are in the world and they have certain traits and aspects to them that i know that god put in their hearts and in their personality for his glory and unfortunately most people use it for other things but if this if gigi la tormenta ever gets saved and follows Christ, imagine her testimony. And you know, Jeremiah planted the, that seed, and I think it's beautiful because I searched up um I searched her up on TikTok. I was curious because I was like, I feel like she's trying to be famous or something, because why would she have a name like that? And she came up and she had a few videos up and people, which was beautiful, they were actually commenting um about like Jesus on her um videos. So one said, Um, I found peace, love, and satisfaction when I encountered God. I hope you give Christianity a chance. It's your choice choice and Gigi like Tormenta said I already have I read from the Bible every morning so maybe little by little you know God will come and speak to her about her you know choices um some people it takes time you know it takes a process um there's another person who said I pray you encounter the Lord and share in the joy we have found in him God loves you and we love you um, and I really just she like would heart all of them so she was very open you know to what the jeremiah was speaking on very open to jesus which i is a definitely the step in the right direction i think a lot of people they dabble with jesus and then ultimately they give their full lives to him you know some people are like buddhist for a little bit but they still like kind of believe in jesus and then they ultimately give their life to jesus or it could be the opposite i don't know and then there was this comment that said um Gigi La Tormenta, I am curious about what your response was to that man who interviewed you. And then she said, is it really an interview if the interview does all the talking? We talked for 15 to 20 minutes. He edited out everything I said except the one thing he deemed problematic. I say release the full video. And then someone else said, honestly, girly, you said everything perfectly and we're, we're so respectful. I admire you coming from a Christian. And then another person said, that's why I asked for your perspective. I don't like intellectually dishonest interviews. He just cut out everything and people assume you found Jesus. But from your point of view, it sounds like he couldn't back up his claim, which is why he didn't get the full video. And then Gigi Lettermenta said, exactly. Notice how in the very beginning, I asked him to recommend it to me. I was asking him to cite his sources. He went to search for a second, second before realizing he couldn't and changed the subject. So that's how we have to be prepared when we go out there to preach the gospel. We have to memorize our verses. We have to be out there, especially if we're going to do stuff like this. I think if you're going to like legit post videos on YouTube and talk to people, you have to be very prepared and in prayer and in your word and know how you're going to tackle the hard questions. Um, I personally have gone to evangelize by myself as well with like friends, but I don't record it. I don't think I'm ever going to record those because I personally don't feel called to do that. I love to have one-on-ones and I feel like it's also more genuine. I feel like people are more open, but I do try my best to be prepared, but it's also different because I am, you know, going out on my own and I'm not recording it. Whereas like, if you're recording it, that's a whole other level of like preparation. And I do see that sometimes your Maya is kind of stuck on his words. Um, and of course we're human. And there's things that people throw at us that we're kind of like, hmm, I don't know about that. But it takes humility to admit that we don't know everything and there are some things that we could grow on but we should always point people to jesus even if we don't know be humble and be like you know what at the end of the day like um i really just want you to find god i hope that you accept him in your as your lord and savior and that is what i believe in and i'm doing this out of the goodness of my heart because my belief system tells me that you 
are going to perish and go to hell if you don't accept God and I'm doing this because I love you and ultimately Jeremiah is doing something good from his heart he is getting out of his comfort zone and loving on people where it is very hard to love on people who are out there in the nightlife and completely don't want God they want pleasure they want the hedonistic lifestyle so I really admire him for that and I know he's not perfect and I just really liked also her response I think both these people were you know two beautiful humans that had a good discussion on God and Jesus and I hope that ultimately Gigi comes to know Christ and accepts him as Lord and Savior in um, you know her life but accepting him would be transitioning back to the gender that God formed you in which was a man as you can tell um, and that's a process you know and um like, you know, she's living her life, and I'm not going to judge her for that. That's her life, her business. But when she does come to Christ, there are um, certain, um, you know, rules and guidelines that God wants us to abide in, which is his rules and guidelines. And so, yeah, I really like this, inter this interview. I thought it was interesting. I love how she was open and how, um, you know, Gigi really wanted Jeremiah to speak and not let other people interrupt him. I thought that was great. Even if she didn't agree. I think that was a great act of like being a human. Like let people speak. Even if you disagree. Like if someone is an atheist. Let them talk. I want to know your perspective. I'm not going to be the only one speaking. So I really appreciate that. And I hope she comes to know God. And um, continues to read her Bible every single morning. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this interview. Let me know if you guys ever had had experiences like this where you're kind of like, hmm, tongue twisted. Um, or if you just, what your thoughts were. But I'm out. See you guys later.